There we go. I forgot to turn the audio on. Welcome to episode 82 of Wise Advice. Give you a second to get in here, get settled, uh, like we always do. If you're tuning in for the first time, the way this works is you come into Facebook, uh, say hi to you for a little bit. We chat for a little bit in Facebook. I'll record the show live. I've got episode 82 ready to go. When I'm all done the show, come back to Facebook and um, and we'll just kind of hang out for a little bit. So Aaron, good evening. How are you? Sheila, hello. Good evening. Denise, hi. Shelly, hi. Good evening. Jeff, good to see you, sir. Susan, yahoo! Monica, good evening. Uh, how are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see who else pops in. Julie, hello. How are you? Good to see you. Ruth Ann, how are you? Diane, good evening. Sharon, hi. And you guys are awesome. Serve, good evening. Hello. Sandra, hi everyone. I agree. Hi everyone. And uh, Susan from California. Nitha, Dag and Deggers, uh, how are you? Good evening. Kathy, hello. Lillian, hello. And you guys are just piling in. I like it. May, good evening. Julie, watching from your dark house. No power on the northwest side of Indy. Really? Um, that's not good. I'm on the... It's funny. Hang on. Let me go back. Uh... Julie says on the northwest side of Indy, I am on the southwest side of Carmel. So we are probably not far apart if you're on the northwest side of Indy. Uh, Janet from Hershey, Nebraska. Again, good evening, uh, Jeanette, sorry. Uh, Paula, yep, what, it's always water time. You guys are both from Hershey. I mean, well, I don't know what the odds are to have two people both from Hershey, but they're not the same Diane from Wisconsin, good evening. Mary, hello. Kristen, hello. Angie, good evening to you from North Carolina. Cool. Coming to you from Indianapolis. That's kind of fun. Nora, Nora is, uh, Nora as in Nora here, Nora? Or is there a different Nora that I don't know about? Uh, yeah, Julie, we had trees down all over the place here too. It was kind of, kind of not so fun, I guess. Amy, good evening. How are you? Good, good, good. So Nora, like just down the street, Nora, then. Very cool. I didn't know we were that close to each other. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Catherine from Minnesota. Hello. Howdy. From Minnesota. Very nice. Let's see Minnesota in the house. Um, so May has finally caught up to the last episode. You're in Hawaii. You're in Hawaii. That's kind of fun. Uh, it's been a while since I've been to Hawaii. Uh, well, I guess I haven't been since I've been here. So I've been. It's probably been five years since I've been to. Hawaii. Oh no, probably seven years since I've been to Hawaii. Yeah, crazy. Uh, Denise said you got a crazy response from you reading my letter. That's cool. That's what, you know, hey, the, here, honestly, that's what um, that's what this is all about, right? So the whole reason we do the podcast isn't, I mean, sure, I do like to hear myself talk, but the reason we do it is so that you share your story so that other people can share their story, they can connect with you, uh, and then you guys can then do your little thing, and you can you can find other people who believe in each other, who believe in you differently. All of this plays into why we do this. So, Shelly, you are far from caught up. You're still like 70 behind, so you're on episode 10. Have you got the 12 yet, Shelly? Uh, Lisa, hello from Iowa. Very cool. Um, yeah, thanks, Kim. I appreciate that. Yeah, Denise, I, I mean, I told you, right? All you got to do is sign up. I mean... You have to do another Ironman. You, we just committed in front of thousands of people uh, just that you're going to do it. Yeah, cool. So that's exactly just – That's what, I'm the same way. You just hop around. You don't need to listen to them in order. They're not sequential for – I mean, they're sequentially numbered, 
but the topics aren't sequential. So you can listen to 81, then 15, then 23. It doesn't matter which order you go in. The only reason you would go in order is so that you just press play and drive, or however you do it, or that um, that way you don't forget which ones you've listened to and which ones you haven't listened to. So, yep. So, Denise, when uh, when is the next one? Um, all right, so Amy says she's good. It's been a week or so since you've caught me live. Yeah, I've been a little sporadic the last couple of weeks. Um, but, yeah, so you're expecting a weight loss tomorrow at weigh-in. So, cool. Good focus. That'll take you there. Um, you know, and uh, the fact that you're going is the victory. Let's just focus there. That's way more important than anything else. Um, I just got a Facebook message. It's funny. I, so someone right at this moment just sent me a message on Facebook uh, asking me a question. And I, you know, it's like, I, wish, I wonder if that person knows that I'm actually live and they could have just typed it here and gotten an answer live. That would have been kind of fun. Um, but cool. Uh, Aracela, right? Is that how you're Aracela? Aracela. That's right. Aracela. Very good to see you. Uh, Jeff, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with that part of it, Jeff. Um, the topic is me talking. <laughs> Let's see. Um, a lot of it's why's, you know, why and health issues, I guess, is the is the common theme. Um, you know, why people join and what their health issues are that get them to join and and that type of stuff. So that's kind of the topic, I guess, Jeff. Very, very neat there. Mary, good evening. Uh, Denise, you haven't listened to all the earlier ones. You know, again, I'll say this every time I get a chance to say it. 12 and 54 are my favorite, and then the complacency one is my next favorite. And then after that, it doesn't matter. Um, so go make sure you get 12, 54, and 70, all the 70s. So let's just do that. Robin, hello. Jennifer, hi. Um, all right, so Shelly, you started episode one. So hopefully you'll realize, Shelly, they get better. Uh, you know, the first few that I did, and I still don't know much, but the first few that I did, I didn't know a thing about podcasting. I just kind of just, you know, went out and I think, I mean, the first few I sat in my car and, and did them from my car. As I, well, One of them I did as I was driving home from work. So um, crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, Denise, shoot me an email, right? Let's let's figure that part out. Let's let's get you signed up. Adriana, good evening. Yep, Jeff, keep your Y close by. That's it. Uh, Kelly, good evening. First time. That's very cool. Uh, Barbette, hello, hey. Um, Nitha, is it silly that your Y is just a simple fact that I'm tired of not feeling confident? Nope, that's uh, that'll do it. As long as you uh, understand truly what you mean by that. Yep, that'll be strong enough for sure. Uh, Annette, hello. Uh, Adriana, listened to seven of them last night before you you went to bed. Um, so uh, Aracela says no, you don't. I don't know. I, well, I mean, I, so here's what I do. I, I mean, I record it obviously, and then um, as it's uploading to the server, I sit and listen to it again just to make sure that it sounds okay audio technically wise I don't actually I don't think I even hear the words at that point I'm just listening for the audio side of it and then so I hear it and then every once in a while when I drive to and from work I'll play one just to, to keep me focused and it's funny when I hear it I, I almost don't think it's me I just listen to the words I'm like oh that's kind of fun um so very very cool yeah and then frozen songs let it go right let it go let it go um, let's see. Shelly says complacency was a big issue for me. I was 350, got down to 200, which was very cool. Way too comfy. Yep, been there. Ended up backsliding into old habits, of course. Gained a big chunk back, uh, but nowhere are. And then you're getting back at it. So that's the key: is to figure out what your what your uh, what mechanism gets you back on track the quickest. Um, you got to recognize that, and you got to you got to get back to getting on track as quick as possible. Uh, I have a couple of mechanisms set in place that will remind me to never go back. So, all right, let's get this one in the books for sure. Are you guys ready to do that? Um, Denise says you played eighty-one for your coworkers, and then 
Yeah, I saw that, uh, Denise. I saw you post that on Connect earlier. Uh, that was kind of cool. So thank you for sharing for sure. Uh, let's see. Who is that? Amy says, found you through Connect a few weeks ago, and you're catching your first live session tonight. So cool. Welcome. Welcome to the show live. Um, you love uh, taking me on a walk daily. So, hey, I appreciate that too. Sometimes that's the only steps I get is with walking with you guys. So, so I appreciate that. So, Amy, welcome to the show live. Very glad to have you. Um, yeah, Louisville. Hey, you know what? That's that's. If there's, I don't even know if there's an Iron Man in Louisville, but if there's an Iron Man in Louisville in 2018, um, I will not participate. Let's just be clear there. But Louisville is not far away, so I would meet up in Louisville for the after party uh, somewhere in 2018. Obviously, you know a lot of things have to fall into place, but Louisville's close enough where I could do that. So, um, Annette says, when you want it more than where, yeah, exactly. If you want it bad enough, then you'll get it. You know, you'll you'll make the lifestyle change. You have to want it more than what you currently have. So, um, all right. Well, let's get uh, let's get rolling. Let's get this stuff locked in here. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. Oh, before, um, well, I'll talk about it during the show too. But did you guys see the uh, the Nokia blog today? Is that kind of cool or what? Yeah, uh, yeah, Denise, for sure. It's it's, a, it's done. Let's just let's just know that it's done. Uh, but if you didn't see the Nokia health blog. Um, go to connect when we're done here. It'll be on Facebook in the morning as well. But Nokia uh, did an interview with me. And yeah, I was, um, I've known about it for a little while. Um, let's see. Someone just messaged me asking. I'm like, I'm telling them I'm online right now. All right. So anyway, so yeah, they did a, they, they sent me, um, you know, we did the interview a while ago and, so I knew it was coming, but uh, it's always cool to see it in print. And I got a ton of texts on my phone from friends of mine who aren't Weight Watchers, who may or may not be on Weight Watchers or may or may not want to be. But I got a ton of texts from them today saying congratulations and, and you're inspiring and all that cool stuff. So that was kind of neat is that you, you know, like typically when you start anything, you know, it, it's the people who are uh, who are very close to you you start there like you tell your friends you tell your family whatever and then so in this scenario I none of my friends uh, I think most of my friends up until about maybe I don't know a couple weeks ago didn't under didn't even know there was a, a fat dag website didn't know there was a fat dag podcast because I just this is not something I shared in my personal community it's something I shared with you guys and so now it's bleeding over into my personal life which is kind of fun um, you know, but but it's nice now because at least it's it's a success story bleeding over, and so part of the reason I didn't share it with a lot of them is I didn't I didn't want to not succeed uh, because they've seen me try this multiple times, so I didn't want to you know I didn't want to tell them and then have it not work out. So, but so now it clearly worked out. So very cool. All right, uh, so Denise, go read. Yep, go read it. Go read it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, Aristotle saw it. Jeff said, if I can lose 140 pounds and reach lifetime, exactly, exactly, exactly. So that's exactly it, Jeff. And that's why, 100% of why we share this stuff is that there's someone right now who's 140 pounds overweight who does not even think for a second it's possible. And Jeff just proved that it's possible. So uh, if Jeff can lose 140 pounds, then you, I can lose 91 pounds. Trust me, uh, you can lose whatever you need to lose. Just a matter of time, so um, yeah. Then so Denise, nice try, but no. Denise is saying to Jeff and I that if Jeff can lose 140 pounds, then anyone can. If I can lose 91 pounds, then anyone can. So Denise says she says the same thing about an Ironman. If she can do an Ironman, then anyone can. You just have to want to. Maybe that's the problem, Denise. I don't want to do an Ironman. It sounds crazy. So so no, I'm not doing an Ironman. I like it. Nice try though. Really? No, really? Good try. All right, let's get this show on the road. I will, it's late. Um, yeah, Kelly, thank you. Good to see you online as well. Uh, always, always fun to hang out with you. And um, I appreciate, uh, just for the folks listening, Kelly texts me every once in a while with some updates some, some of some people that she knows that's doing amazing work. Uh, and it's very fun to be part of those journeys as well. So, 
Yeah. So, all right, let's do. Sorry. I guess we can go on. You guys just like chatting, and I get it. So do I. So let's get this show on the road. Test one, two. Testing, 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 testing. Test, 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 test. Mic check one, two. Testing one, two, three. All right, looks like we're good. I always, I have a fear. One time when I was doing this, uh, I did the entire show and forgot to record it. And the only thing I had was the Facebook audio. So I had to take the Facebook audio and strip it out. And it wasn't this, I didn't even remember which episode, it, but the audio wasn't nearly as good. So now I check like 18,000 times to make sure that it's recording. All right. I am your host, Fat Dag, and you're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com. Follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, and your celebrations. I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're out of points... Stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together because I believe in you. Well, hello. Welcome to episode 82 of Wise Advice. And I got some exciting news tonight. And I've been working with my folks uh, at a Nokia Health for a long time. As you know, Withings uh, and Nokia merged. And so Nokia Health has taken over the Withings brand and they've done a phenomenal job with it. And so we've been working with them. Uh, I've been working with them for a long time. I've used the product for forever. It's always been a part of my weight loss journey. Uh, I weigh myself daily. And I, again, I don't recommend you weighing yourself daily if you don't understand the data. Uh, but I've been a data guy for a long time. I understand the data. I've been tracking the data. So when they reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to feature you in, in our blog, it was an incredible honor for me. Because for me, one of the coolest things was here is a leader in the health and wellness industry who, who recognized my story and wanted to share it in on their blog and on their channels. You know, it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't a food company trying to push a product. It, it was a leader in the health and wellness company saying, hey, this guy's made a difference and, and they wanted to feature me on their blog. So that was released today. So, uh, you know, if you go out to the, the Nokia website and click on their blog, and of course, it'll, links will be all over fatdag.com. It'll be on the on Wise Advice Facebook page, but you can get there. But go read the blog. I think I think they did a fantastic job with that. Uh, truly, it's an honor to be featured on their blog. Um, just it kind of just validates, and, and more than anything, that'll kind of be one of those things that just kind of keeps me at goal for a long time. So it was very very cool to to see that. So uh, thank you, uh, Nokia Health, for the recognition there. Much appreciated, and uh, a shout out to the author, Annalise. She did an amazing job, so very, very cool. Uh, Louise writes in and says, Hi, I'm from Arkansas. I found show 67 very helpful. I've really been struggling with portions and quantities. I've chosen good foods, but I've gotten very lax in my tracking. Thanks for the extra push, just what I needed. I enjoyed sharing the magnets. They were a huge hit. I also got a great gift for my birthday. It's a display titled My Tribe. It's a hanging photo of my Weight Watchers sisters on it, who just happen to also be my actual sisters. I also hunted up Fred, the cartoonist on Connect, and had some great laughs. Uh, Louise, thanks for helping me keep my focus. You're right. So, Louise, you're absolutely welcome. You, you are, um, you're really digging in. You're finding every available tool. You reached out to Fred. You have a picture of your tribe hanging up. You're listening to the podcast. You're digging into episodes that matter, that make sense to you. Uh, that's how you know you're winning. When you purposely seek out additional tools and you continue looking out and looking for new tools, 
uh, that tells me that your head is very much engaged, very much wanting to get this done. And, uh, and if you continue on that mindset, you're going to do phenomenal work. So thank you for reaching out. Thank you for writing in. It's an honor to walk this journey with you. Next up, Cindy writes in and says, Hey, Fat Dag, I hope it's okay that I send you my email of my why. I am 50 years old, and I had a heart attack on the 4th of July. One of my arteries was 100% blocked, and they had to put a stint inside my heart to restore the blood flow. Luckily, I was able to make it to the hospital in time for the doctors to help me, but I know it is from years of unhealthy decisions and the old, oh, I'll worry about that tomorrow attitude that put me in the hospital to begin with. I can't fully describe the feeling of helplessness and the feeling of what is happening to me. I have joined Weight Watchers several times, does hundreds count, since the 1980s, but I know this time will be different. This time it is for my health. Like I said, I am 50 years old, but before I had been thinking that 50 was actually old, but you know what? It's not. I still have a 16-year-old daughter that I want to see graduate high school and college. I want to see her get married and meet my grandchildren someday, and I will. Thank you for your podcast. It is very motivational, Cindy. Well, Cindy, um, man, it's uh, that's that's pretty frightening, and the fact that you've taken the time to write in, um, it, it, I thank you for that. You know, obviously, you got a lot going on right now. Your life has been completely turned upside down, and so the fact that you reached out here uh, in this stage of where you're at in your journey lets me know that you are serious, uh, and you have a, an incredible amount of support here, uh, here to cheer you on to help you get to this healthy place that you want to get to. Uh, it's absolutely okay that you send in your email of why. That's kind of how this show works. Uh, if, you don't, if people don't send in an email, then I have nothing to read, and we have 25 minutes of, of dead air. So it's absolutely, of course, that you, uh, of course it's okay that you write in. Uh, so I understand when you say you can't fully describe the feeling of helplessness and the feeling of, of what is happening to you right now. And so what I want you to do as I want you to kind of, now would be a great time. Now would be a great time to write down what you're feeling. Write down how you feel because uh, you, you obviously have an amazing team of doctors who pieced you back together. Uh, certainly next time you see them, give them a huge hug and say thank you for, for restoring your life. And then honor them. I want you to, you know, they have years and years invested into taking care of our lives uh, they have more time invested in taking care of ourselves than we do in a lot of cases. So the fact that they've dedicated their life to helping people like us uh, is an amazing, amazing testament. And the fact that they were able to save you is incredible. So let's honor them. And the way we honor them is by by making the best choices we can from this point forward. We can't go back to the past. We can't undo anything that we've done. But we certainly can take this step forward and move forward. Now imagine when you go to your first checkup, you walk into your first meeting and you look at the team that saved your life and the best thing you can do to them is show them that you you honor their sacrifice by taking care of you, by taking care of yourself. Nothing else will be more rewarding to them, I promise you. Uh, the folks who are doing those jobs, I am confident that if you if you have walked in with, with the paycheck or the uh, the, the check in one hand or your weight entry in another and you could pay them in your new healthy lifestyle they certainly would take it if they could find a way to pay the bills with it most of the people who are in these professions they're in it for because they're invested in us and the best thing you can do is pay them back by taking care of you now as we talk about all that you know you also owe that to your daughter and you owe that to your family you're right 50 years old is not old at all you know, you have an entire life ahead of you. Uh, what I always think is that, you know, 50 isn't old. It's, it's how unhealthy we are is what, is what is old. So at this point in my life, I feel younger than I've ever felt in, in a long time. And it's all because I, I have an athletic ability that I haven't had in a long time. I can move freely. Uh, I have a, a spring in my step that's never been there. And that's all because I got to a healthy place. So I'm very glad you're okay. Uh, sometimes it takes this kind of shock to wake us up. You've been given a second chance. I want you to make the most of it. Thanks for writing in, Cindy, and uh, you know, continue to keep us posted. 
Next up is uh, Tina. Tina writes in, says, Fat Dag, first, thanks for responding to my email a few weeks ago and the encouragement you have given me on Connect. I had a long road, road trip, so I binge listened to all of your podcasts. They were great to hear again. Truthfully, I always listen twice, once on my way to work and the second time on my way home, just to make sure that I'm keeping my focus. I've heard you ask for our why, after, and after listening to one of the podcasts back in May, I sat down and really looked into my why. My why is to look on the outside how I feel that I look inside my head. Since having my children 27 years ago, I just continued to gain, but in my head I thought I was still 120-ish pounds. So when I would see myself in pictures, in full-length mirrors, I would just be angry with myself, but I never did anything about it until three years ago. After losing 50 pounds on my own and bouncing around trying many different programs for the last two years, I would only stay on the programs for about three months before I was crazy with cravings for normal food and I gained back some of the weight. Then in February, I kept seeing the Weight Watcher commercials about eating bread and chips. So here I am. Once I defined uh, from the real why, after tears of understanding, I had great focus, not on the how, but on my why. This has been a game changer. It is written on my bathroom mirror and in my phone notes. I have played around with eating all of my weeklies. I found that did not work for me. So I'm striving to hit blue dots every day and finding success with tracking. And I will not miss a weekly meeting. I know that I'm going to get my goal weight so that out my outside will match how I think that I look. And then it says that, P.S. I truly did not start to see any success till I'd started tracking, getting on Connect, listening to your podcast back in mid-April, and then put the last piece of the puzzle in place, which was my why. Tina, uh, thank you. She says, have a blessed day. And then here it says, highest weight was 238. Starting weight 202, current weight 189. So, Tina, um, you know, I, I'm with you. You know, a lot of what you said is so true. You know, and um, a lot of us think that we look on the outside. We think we look better than we really do. And uh, and that was exactly my scenario. So when you read the, when you wrote this in, it resonated with me early because what I, I thought the same thing. I didn't realize I was 91 pounds overweight. Uh, you know, if you would have asked me, I think I think I was hoping to lose 20 or 30, you know, and I maybe said, well, you know, if I'm really lucky, I can lose 40. Uh, but I didn't ever suspect 90, which is why, you know, we always say just focus on the trend line, just focus on eating healthy and everything else will catch up. You'll get to that place. You know, and the same scenario happened to me. I would see pictures of myself. I would I would find a mirror that I hadn't used to seeing and it would catch me off guard and I, I would wonder who it was and I would say, oh, that's a bad angle or or something to try and justify how I thought I looked. You know, every once in a while, one of those pictures really caught me and it just got me so angry just like it did you. Uh, and that was the motivation that got me going. Uh, I, I accepted that. I got to the point where I said, yeah, this is what I look like. This is this is me, I guess. You know, I mean, after years and years and years looking at the same pictures, at some point I, I finally understood, yeah, I guess this is me. It was that point I decided to make make the change. Now, I'm glad that you've written uh, your whys down on your bathroom mirror. I do the same thing. I use a dry erase marker. It writes perfectly on a, on a bathroom mirror, and you can erase it with a tissue very easily. So great job doing that. And, and I'm glad to see you experiment. You eat it, you tried eating your weeklies, you find out it didn't work, and then now you work it in. Some people have success with it, some people don't, but the beauty is you have an amazing strategy because you are continuing, continuing to evaluate the data and you're going to make a change. You're clearly on the right path and you're, you're doing well. So I, the fact that you, you didn't really start seeing any success until you started tracking and getting on Connect, well, absolutely, right? Tracking is the number one reason that this program works. Um, and it's not so much of, uh, of what we have to do, you know, putting everything in the tracker. It's that accountability. It's checking ahead of time, knowing that, and then making the conscious decision to eat it. You know, the commercials lure you in by saying you can have whatever you want. They say you can have bread, you can have chips. You're going to find, as you progress through this process, what you want will be to be healthy and to live a long, healthy life. And you will choose that 
over potato chips down the road. Not asking you to do that right now. I'm not asking you to even think about that as a possibility at the moment. But what I want you to be open to is the fact that you can have anything you want on this plan. What I want you to want more than anything is to solve your why. Solving your why, if you solve it properly, it will carry you for the rest of your life. Stay focused on why you're doing this and then you truly can have anything you want and you'll quickly realize it's not potato chips. So keep up the great work for sure. Maddie writes in, says, hi, Dag. First of all, I have to say that I'm a huge fan of you and your podcast. I recently moved back home to San Francisco after school and work in Chicago. I completely fell off the bandwagon. Then, luckily, I found your podcast, and I've been back on track ever since. I started Weight Watchers when everyone starts their diet, January 1st, 2017, and this was when I was living on my own in Chicago, doing my own grocery shopping and cooking. I stuck to the plan and lost my first 15 pounds and was so excited. Fast forward to moving back home with my parents. Both are relatively good eaters. Neither is on Weight Watchers, though, and we are a family that loves to eat out. I instantly fell off of the bandwagon. I moved home to save money before I head off to grad school in the fall, and although it's been great, my parents do most of our grocery shopping and aren't always great at picking out my low-point Weight Watcher staples. I've recently gotten back on the bandwagon, again thanks to you. I've been trying to engage them more in my eating habits, and now since being back on it for about two weeks, I finally lost another six pounds. My starting weight was 185 pounds, and I'm finally at 164, 20% gone forever. Now the issue is I'm seeing my weight go down on the scale, and I've noticed my clothes feeling slightly less snug, but I assumed after a 21 pound weight loss, I'd be at least a size smaller. I could fit into a size six if I squeeze now, but I feel as though I'm losing weight and not inches. Does this make even make sense? Ultimately, I'm so happy with my progress and I continue to trek on. I was just curious if this happens with others or if I'm being hypercritical of my progress. Again, a huge fan. You're such an inspiration. Thank you for being you, Maddie. Well, Maddie, got a couple things here that uh, that jumped right out at me that I, I kind of want to address, and and in no particular order, uh, let's absolutely start with the fact that um, you know your parents do most of the grocery shopping, and they're not always picking out your your low point Weight Watcher staples. This journey, uh, Maddie, is all on you. It is 100% your responsibility to make sure you're getting what it is you need. So if they're doing the grocery shopping, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from going to buy your own stuff and supplementing whatever they bought for you. And ideally, you can certainly add to the list and you know make a shopping list with them. Heck, you could even you could even offer to do the grocery shopping for the family. So so that that becomes you know I'm picking on you just a little bit, but that becomes just the excuse in the program. Uh, you know, is to say that well, they, whatever they bought, you know, just because they bought it and brought it into the house. Does it mean you have to indulge and, and take it? So let's let's tackle that one. Number one, you clearly know how to do this. You lost 15 pounds on your own when you were living at home and eating and cooking your own meals. You can. There's nothing stopping you from continuing that program, even though you're living at home. I'm sure your folks would actually even appreciate uh, a little bit of help around the house in that regard too. So so absolutely, that's good there. Now the next thing you said, you started your journey when everybody starts their journey. And that's on January 1st. Well, no, that's not entirely true either. Uh, I think the rest of us start on a Monday. You know, so if we don't start on January 1st, we wait till Monday and we get back on track on Monday. Those seem to be the the most two common days to start, right? Either we start on January 1st for the new year or we just pick some random Monday. I mean, heck, sometimes on Tuesday afternoon, we decide to start a diet and we'll wait all the way till Monday to restart it. So regardless of when you start, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you, you know, what day you pick. It doesn't matter, you know, you know how you start. It doesn't even matter what you start. What matters is that you do start, and you've clearly done that. You've done, you've done very well and got 20% down, which is amazing focus. Now, to, to answer your, your question on, you know, 21-pound weight loss, do you expect your clothes to be a size smaller? I understand that. But think about it just the opposite way. You know, when, when we start wearing a pair of jeans, and we can generally gain... 10, 15 pounds in the same pair of clothes and not really realize it. So it's the same concept. They fit completely different, and you did say that you recognize that, 
But you need to know that, you know, just about in any clothing size you have, they don't fit so tight that you don't have room to gain, you know, one or two pounds. And, and generally, if you, if, you, um, if you gain weight, you know, a 20-pound weight gain or, or loss comes off the entire body. You know, part comes off your shoulders, part comes off your arms, part comes off your legs and, and your calves and, you know, and the rest of your body. So 20 pounds spread out evenly isn't necessarily a ton of inches across the entire body. So what I want you to focus on is is all of that ties into a, to a how mindset, uh, and, you know, but it doesn't tie, it doesn't really tackle your why. Your why is that you're doing this for your health. Your why is that you want to get to your goal weight. Dig deeper into why you truly are doing this. If you understand that, then it doesn't matter the rest of this information. The rest of it becomes data, and you're just you gotta you gotta stay tuned to what your body needs. At some point, you will say, I don't want to lose any more weight, and that is when you can celebrate. At that point, you go out to the store, you try on whatever clothes you want to try on, You in the clothing size doesn't matter. You know, because at that point, when you say you don't want to lose weight, it doesn't matter what the tag says on the clothes. So, um, Maddie, you absolutely have the ability to get this done. I believe in you. I know you're on fire. Readjust, recommit, refocus, and go get it done. Next up, Donna writes in, says, Hi, Mike. Donna from Oakland Gardens. I just had to share with you that I've received my 25-pound charm today at my morning meeting. I have been so close to getting it for weeks, and here it came today when I least expected it. I thought I had a terrible week. I tracked. I drank my water. made some good choices, but my home scale kept going up. I weigh myself every morning when I get up, so I know what I need to do. It keeps me accountable. It's been very humid here in New York, and I find I retain more water in my body when that happens. So my plan was to watch my salt intake, drink more lemon water, and not have that pizza that I've been craving for weeks. Well, I guess it all worked, because at my meeting I was down 2.4 pounds, which got me to my charm and to a new number I have not seen in 40 years since the birth of my son. Altogether, I have lost 51.5 pounds in two years, 25.8 on Weight Watchers. But better than weight loss, my A1C is now 5.4. My blood pressure is 118 over 70. I still have so far to go, but I know I can and I will do this. It's my life now. I have never gotten a charm on my other tries on Weight Watchers. I gave up after three weeks. I am determined to get to a goal weight, whatever that will be. I am now in the 180s for the first time in four years. 170s. Here I come. Thank you so much for believing me. Thank you so much for your podcast. I carry you in my head and in my heart. I hear you all the time. When you're out of points, stop eating points. I gave out some of your magnets that I had ordered from you at my meeting. We spoke about your podcast and I showed them your app. I trust you will have more followers soon. Thank you for believing in me when I didn't love Donna. Donna, well, that, you know, that your closing line uh, is the reason we do this show. It's the reason that uh, that I want to stay engaged with this community because I started the exact same way that you just summed up your 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 entire email. When I started, I really didn't believe I could do this. I was hoping I could do it. Uh, we know hope is not a plan. I was hoping I could lose 40, 50 pounds. Uh, I didn't necessarily believe that I could. I knew it was kind of possible. Uh, I didn't think I had the ability to do it personally because it's so difficult to do. You know, and it looks to be so extremely rare for people to have that level of success. So I truly was hoping to just kind of get in a better place for me. That's all I was hoping to do. So I didn't necessarily believe in it. And so I got on Connect. I got in tied to the community. And, and slowly I started seeing people who have a tremendous amount of success. I started watching people who were at Lifetime, people who were at Lifetime for multiple years, People have maintained their weight loss for a long period of time. I saw people who would consistently lose every single week, even though they had struggles and challenges that popped up. All of that, I looked at them and I said, you know what, if they can do it, then surely I can do this. And so slowly during the process is that um, people would say, hey, Mike, you can do this and you can do this, you can do it. And so they believed that I could do it before I believed that I can do it. Now, somewhere in the middle, I finally figured out that I actually had the ability to do this as well. That was the day that I made goal. 
I've said this before, I made goal 40 or 50 pounds before the scale told me that I made goal. Because at some point when I figured out that I could believe in myself, and I figured out that I actually had the ability to get this done, when I recognized that the 30, 40, 50 pounds that I lost, I didn't lose on accident. I lost deliberately. I lost because I stayed focused. I lost because I was disciplined. When I realized all of those pounds lost were a direct result of my effort and focus into it, I believed in me and I made goal. I continued working the plan, continued working the program, and then I got to a point where I never want to lose another pound again. That's how this journey works. So you're absolutely welcome for me believing in you because when you, you will finally believe in yourself uh, and when you get there, it's not like you're there now, but when you fully, fully or get there, you're going to do well. Now, congrats on your 25-pound charm. 25-pound charm is an incredible feat. It's an incredible feeling. The fact that you were least expecting it is, is an amazing, uh, amazing accomplishment because that continues to show us that you were engaged in the process. You were going to the meeting regardless of what the scale said. That absolutely is winning. The piece I would caution you on is, is that, you know, that very much weak is that, you know, you have this craving for pizza that you've been, you know, putting off for weeks. I understand those cravings. And I would, uh, as much as I want you to suppress them, I want you to find a way where, where they don't become cravings and you get control over it. When you truly have control over it, you can introduce them slowly or differently into your journey. I want you to, to be careful with that, but I want you to experiment it because what I don't want you to do is to suppress the craving for so long, you get a 25 pound charm, and then that becomes the permission to go do something that you haven't done in forever. That's generally where we get in trouble. So uh, I want you to know that you know, you've not seen, 40, uh, seen this weight in 40 years since the birth of your son, 51.5 pounds in two years, that's incredible. How does it feel? Does it feel incredible? Does it feel as incredible as it sounds in your email? And I'm positive that it does. Write that down you know, and reflect on how far you've come. Reflect on what it's like to be 51 pounds heavier. Reflect on the fact that, that you feel really good. You keep up that mindset and you're going to get it done. So you're on your way through the 180s. You're heading down to the 170s. Uh, you are on fire. You're going to get it done. So keep up a great, great, great job. Congrats on your 50-pound charm. Uh, thank you for sharing the podcast for sure. Thank you for, you know, you obviously you went to fatdag.com. You click on the Listen Now link. You can see the link to order the magnets. So thank you for ordering them. Thank you for sharing them. That's part of the thing that helps keep me, uh, keep the show kind of paying for itself. And so thank you for sharing and spreading the word on that. Uh, but again, more importantly, thank you for, for writing in about your 25-pound charm. That's, that's phenomenal work. If you've lost 25 pounds on Weight Watchers and you're now 51 pounds lost, you have the ability to get to goal. Let's celebrate. Let's get it done. What is it that you're celebrating? Let's share it on the air. Go to fatdag.com. Click on, click on listen now. Send in your celebrations, your comments, your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. You really want you to email us celebrations because if you heard through the emails we read tonight, as people talk about what they've done, you can almost hear it in their voice or in my voice as I read it. You can read it in the word. I can see it popping off the paper, the pride of what they're doing and so when they finally realize that they are in control of this journey, it doesn't matter what tools at this point they use, when you take 100% 100 responsibility for your own journey and your own destination, you can get it done. And when you become proud of yourself, you share it and other people rejoice and other people can then now believe in themselves and, and we work this thing together. So, But that's going to do it for this time. I want you to remember that losing weight Getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. You have to remain disciplined and focused. Set your sights on your goal and go after it. I wish you good focus. Whoop, whoop. Fun, fun stuff. All right, let me scroll back up. Uh, I'll get to Mary's question at the bottom here real quick, and then um, then I'll go back to the middle and see where it is. So Mary says, question about Operation Bad. Do we assume that the people will join Weight Watchers, or should we write a letter more generic? Yeah, so uh, it's more generic. It's really a I believe in you letter. 
Uh, it's really no matter if you want this bad enough, um, I did it. You can do it. I know people who are doing it, and so join us and get it done. Uh, you know, I, I certainly even when I'm talking to them, I don't mention Weight Watchers specifically. Uh, I mean, other than I tell them that I did it through Weight Watchers, but I, I, I can't go in and endorse it in that capacity. So, um, so I really just kind of give them a generic "I believe in you" letter, and that's what I hand them. So, Mary, thank you for that. Okay, now I'm going to scroll back up, and then I'll come back to Mary's comment, uh, and then we'll go through. And so we'll see. And as I uh, as I look through, my phone is this happened before last time we did this. Do you guys remember when my phone died in the middle of this? Uh, we're probably there again. So, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so here we are. Um, we are at, yeah, you guys are all, um, Avonda says, you are the new podcast I listen to during my walks. So inspirational and lots of valuable information. Thank you for being a wingman. Hey, thank you for being mine. This is a team, right? We do this together. Uh, you know, if, if, if I can, I can do a podcast every night. If no one tunes in, it, it quickly would not be something I continue doing. So when I tested the waters doing a couple of podcasts and the first few shows got a few hundred downloads, I, I contemplated, is this something I want to keep up or not? Uh, and then you guys continued to share it. People continued tuning in. Now, I mean, we're at, I don't even know, I think we're at 300 and, I don't know, 370,000 downloads or something crazy like that. Let me, I don't even remember. I'm just, now I'm just curious. I don't check it that often. Um, but let's, but while we're here, let's check, right? Why not? Um, I could be wrong on that. That's just a complete guess. Yeah, so 341,037 downloads. So that right there tells me people are listening. And then so because that number continues to grow, I will do this forever uh, because it's having an impact and people are listening. So Vonda, thank you for your note for sure. Glenda says, hi. Hi, how are you? Um, yeah, Denise is talking about the Cindy. Ooh, crazy stuff, right? Um, so Linda says, totally agree with you that the perfect way to show respect for the doctors that saved you is by taking care of yourself in a healthy way. And that is, I mean, I, I, I meant that when I said that is, you know, when you walk into the doctor's office and, and, and you walk in, you know, after all that surgery they did on you and you walk in and say, hey, look, thank you. <laughs> you gave me a second life. I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, that's the best way to pay them back. Um, yeah, Jeff, I, you know, I've heard that many times. The person who knows how will always be at the mercy of the person who knows why. Uh, that is entirely true. So focus on your why. Uh, Steven's I got a night at work. So Steven, I'm at 99%, I think, is what we're going to say. Steve knows what that means. Um, so Jeff, you know, so Steve's rephrased, he who knows why will always be in charge of he who knows how. That's true. I, I think it's, you know, he who knows how will always be at the mercy of those who know why, something like that. Um, all the same, 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 same stuff, so. Uh, Gina says she looks forward to these talks. Gina, thank you. I look forward to doing them. But, you know, it's 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 a lot of work. Um, it's an honor to do it. And the fact that you guys continue to tune in, I'll continue doing them. So very, very cool. Um, yeah, I like this. Denise, when you started in May of 2016, you joined on a three-month special, figuring you would just give it a try. Uh, and here you are a year later still going. That's how it works. Yeah, never, ever give up, says Stephen. So uh, great job. Yeah, so Kathy, yeah, same thing. A lot of people do that. I'll just do three months, and then I'll try it on my own. Well, that's how we rejoin five or six times because none of us are going to, I say none, very few of us will get to our goal weight in three months. Um, so, you know, we you've got to commit to doing this for the rest of your life. And so the best thing you can do is commit to doing it for the rest of your life. Work as hard as you can so that it's free for the rest of your life once you hit lifetime. That's how I, you know, I, I joke and that's how I'm cheating the system. But I paid for so long that this time I'm like, you know, I'm going to get to go quickly so I can have access to this program for the rest of my life without having to pay for it anymore. So I, you commit to life and you work it as quick as possible, healthily, in a healthy way, uh, following the Blue Dot program so that you can quit paying. So, uh, Heather, um, Heather says, I feel I fail. And so if you're still here, Heather, let's uh, let's talk about that. So comment back in shoot me a message on Facebook, shoot me an email, uh, a comment like that I would love to dig into. If you don't want to share here, that's completely fine. Do it through Facebook, uh, Messenger, or email, um, and, and we'll, we'll chat for sure. So Kathy's here over a year now. Great job. 
Very cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Stephen has over sprinkled this week. Had a four point chicken noodle soup for dinner. Weigh in is tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's uh, even those of us at Lifetime still have times where we have to figure things out for sure. Uh, Crystal, you didn't miss. Well, I guess you missed it, but you're st we're still here, so that's uh, at least good. Were you out walking? I presume. Um, Angie, yes, I still need uh, some letters for Operation Fat Dag, so I, I'll put a post on Connect this week because I uh, I think I speak next week, and so it may be getting a little tight. But I got the audience next week is about 50 folks, so definitely uh, if you want to send in a, a card. Uh, it doesn't have to be elaborate, you know, a, a simple a card saying, I believe in you, you can do this, it will suffice. The more you want to write, it's absolutely welcome. There are no rules. Uh, it's just whatever you want to share, I will share it with them. So, Teresa, welcome. First time checking in live. Glad to have you live. Thank you so much for that. Um, you know, we do this, uh, you know, two things I say. This is a daily show, except for the days that it's not. And then people ask me what time I do it, and I say it all depends on... Uh, what night, what I got going on. You know, it's it's really, on Tuesday nights I do a Weight Watcher meeting, so I leave my meeting, come back home. Tuesday nights, the, of all the nights that I do it, Tuesday night is the hardest um, because it's my it's my late night for my meeting, uh, and if I don't prepare ahead of time, it just ends up being like, hey, here we are, it's, it's 20 minutes to 12. So, cool, cool, cool. Sadaf, 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 teach me how to pronounce it. Uh, thank you for that. And yes, Crystal, you absolutely can listen later. And if you guys know, right, not only can you listen later, but you, of course you can watch it on Facebook. Uh, but I also send it over to YouTube. So if you're not on Facebook, uh, I guess if you're, I don't know how, I guess, but if you if you missed it here, uh, I, I do send the show to YouTube as well. On YouTube, it gets posted twice. The podcast itself gets posted in YouTube. Uh, but then this video gets posted over in YouTube as well. So YouTube, uh, Fat Dag is the channel in in uh, in on YouTube. Kathy shared the podcast with some new peeps tonight. Thank you. So hopefully um, you shared it via the app, only because that's the, I found that's the easiest way to share when you tell someone that there's a podcast. Most people have no idea what a podcast is, uh, but if you say there's an app that looks like a radio show, uh, then then they go, oh okay, neat, and then they'll download the app. So if you're sharing, uh, it doesn't matter to me where people listen. Honestly, it doesn't at all matter. Uh, I find the app to be the easiest for most people who don't understand how to use the podcast you know, platforms. Uh, and the app does give you a couple extra little features, uh, namely the ability to search through all of the podcast. You know, so you can type in Simply Filling, you can type in Turtle Club, you can type in uh, Complacency, and you can find the episodes that relate to that. So, so cool, Kathy. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, Stephen, I don't commit to anything 100%, right? It's crazy. I'm joking with you. Uh, Lisa's a lifer five times, and this is the last time. So that's, uh, I'm with you. This is my last time, too. Never, ever doing this again. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, mark my words on that. So now I may struggle. Actually, let me back up. I don't struggle. Uh, I may overeat on occasion. I don't consider it a struggle because uh, I'm very much in control. Even when I'm overeating now, it's a controlled overeating, and I'm very focused on what it feels like to be overweight, and so I don't, um, I don't let it last long enough to have a, a true impact. So Margaret, hello, good evening. Beth Ann, good evening. Thumbs up, hello. Um, Katie, yep, hello. The end of a flag football game is 8:40 p.m., 89 degrees. Yeah, go for a walk. Um, Crystal is still at the hospital with your, your mom. Hope everything goes well there for sure. Uh, scary stuff. You know, scary, scary stuff. Margaret, thank you for coming in, even though uh, late, but you're still here, so that's very cool for sure. Um, let's see. Hmm. Crystal's mom has surgery in the morning. So, Crystal, um, you know, focus on the term we use a lot, do your best, right? Uh, and so your 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 circumstances are about to change significantly. And so what you need to do is that um, you need to recognize that, that the situation that you're currently in 
and the one you will be in tomorrow is different than the one you're in two or three weeks ago. So I want you to do your best based on the current set of circumstances. Give yourself permission to understand that your best tomorrow will not be the same as your best was last week. Uh, continue to work it to your best based on those scenarios and um, give all of your thought all of our thoughts and prayers to your mom and everything will be well for sure um let's see so jana says you attended a soccer game and your seats were up pretty high uh and you thought you were you know last time you felt like you were hiking mount everest but you caught yourself jogging up the steps and you wasn't you were not winded so isn't that fun it's absolutely fun when you start doing things in your journey that you know you couldn't do. So when I worked out last week uh, with the transformation coach, oh, it's not even last week, on Sunday, when I worked out with him, uh, it was a full hour workout. And the video that I put on Instagram of me pushing that sled uh, across the parking lot, so even though it looks, you know, whatever, it, I mean, it was hard, but not only was it hard to do, but that was at the very end of an hour workout that I did those. And that one was probably the third or fourth rep of it. So... Um, yeah, but then, I, you know, my wife even said at the time, she's like, you know, a year ago, this wasn't possible. And so, uh, even though I, while I was doing that workout, I was like, oh my God, this was, you know, I, I never actually thought it was miserable. I, I actually really secretly enjoyed it, but, um, but, but I secretly enjoyed it miserably. And so, but when they said that, when she and Adam were talking and they, you know, a year ago, you couldn't do this. It, I paused for a second and I went, that's right. You know, a year and a half ago, this was not even an option. So. Uh, it's fun to reflect on that stuff on occasion. So, Lisa, I love the app. Thank you. Hopefully, if you haven't already, go to you uh, go to the app store and review it. I appreciate that. I get nothing out of that other than it just uh, it reminds other people as they see the app. It gives them a little bit of confidence that they can trust that the app is worth downloading, even though there's absolutely no cost. It's still, um, you know, people need to people like that other validation that it's a it's a decent app out there. So. David, you are a little late, but you're here, and that's all that matters. Uh, so, Kathy, thank you for showing the app on iTunes. You're the best. Absolute best. Denise, shooting prayers. Love that. Um, yep, Crystal, for sure. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Um, and so, Crystal, obviously, you know you can – I know you can't weigh in tomorrow, and I'm not, I'm not expecting you at all, but you know you have all week to weigh in, Right. Uh, so, you know, the week starts on Sunday. So as long as you weigh in before Sunday, it counts for this week. So my, um, you know, if it's possible, depending on where you live, I know in our location, I have 13 meetings uh, in the same center. So there's plenty of opportunities to weigh in for the rest of the week. Don't worry about it tomorrow. That's not what I'm saying. But but know that you have all the way up till Sunday to hit a weigh in. So it just kind of helps you keep on plan and that accountability goal for sure. Oh, so cool. Glad your mom was able to hear me. Well, then, best of luck. Everything's going to be fine. You just heard earlier we have some amazing doctors in this, on this planet. Uh, so everything is going to work out just just perfectly, for sure. For sure. All right. Uh, phone made it down to about 7%, so it's going to die any second now. But I'll kind of wrap up here. Uh, here we are on Tuesday night. Uh, episode 82 is in the books. You can catch the replay on YouTube. You can catch the replay on Facebook. Um, of course, if you haven't already, find me on Twitter, Instagram, and um, I guess wherever on Facebook, I guess, you're here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, continue to share. That's what, um, that's what I see all the posts on Connect. I see, you know, when you guys tag me, I don't, I don't have the opportunity to respond to them all, but I do see them all. I do read them all. Uh, you know, it just, it's just very difficult to get in there and, and re-tag re them all or to, to reply to all the tags. But more than anything, I appreciate you sharing. That's how we get the word out. That's how we make a difference. That's how we change lives. That's how we teach other people that, that we believe in them so that they can believe in ourselves. Something funny happens in this journey too. Uh, the thing that's really funny is when you reach out to help somebody else and when you share this information, uh, it really reinforces it in your own brain what it is that you already believe. So as you share it, um, you'll be surprised at how often you'll find, even when just by you typing when you're at a point, stop eating points, and you type that to somebody else, it reinforces it in your own mind, and then the next time the scenario happens, you're a little bit stronger as well. So thank you for continuing to share. Uh, as I always say, this is hard work. Uh, the fact that you're getting it done, the fact that you're engaged and you want to make a difference is the hardest piece of the entire journey. You're here listening, and so therefore you've taken control of that aspect. 
Now it's just a matter of never quitting and doing the best you can based on the day. So uh, it takes discipline, it takes focus, and more than anything, I wish you the absolute best of focus. Have a great night.